สวัสดีค่ะ How are you doing today? Today we're going to be doing, uh, I guess this is like one of the most comfort dishes in Thailand. This is called um, this today we'll be doing with chicken, but either garlic chicken or garlic pork is probably the most uh, common Thai food. That's like entry level Thai because it's not spicy. A lot of the kids will eat it, and you know, it, it's kind of like comfort because they ate it from the time they were small. So like. Even now, when our older one comes home, he's, the first thing he wants is like garlic pork. So, any, anyway, um, we're going to be using our stir fry sauce. And if you want to know what the ingredients in our stir fry sauce is, it's um, right here. So we use two parts of oyster sauce. We use. One part of soy, we use like a half part of um, black dark soy, and this is granulated garlic and pepper. We make it ahead of time, and if you click the link up there in the corner, if you click the link up there in the corner, it'll link you to the stir fry sauce. You can make it in, in more than you're going to use quantities and store it in the refrigerator and it'll last since it's all shelf stable ingredients it'll last a month over a month so here we go so this is about a small whole bulb of garlic this is onions and carrots. We like to put in a little bit of vegetables for color. Normally in, in Thailand, um, the garlic pork or chicken or something will be like just pork or chicken. And then this is a chicken breast. I put a little bit of um, cornstarch in there, maybe about less than a half a teaspoon or so. Just to, as you stir fry, you, you'll see it'll, it'll um, Thicken up the the sauce. So we're just gonna put a little bit of our oil at the bottom of the pan to heat it. Maybe that's about two to three tablespoons. Let that heat up for a minute. This is one of those really fast dishes you'll find in the, the little street stands in Thailand and stuff. You just can go up there and just say, I got the um and then make it for you okay get that chicken going So our basic stir fry sauce, you can use it and make variations on it. And we try to make things like versatile, easy. You can make it, leave it in the fridge, because you know like most of the time when we get home from work and stuff, time is just not our friends and we just get a make something really quick but it's always nice to make something quick and delicious at the same time. Get the chicken going. Then once it starts um, rendering some moisture then you want to put your garlic in because you don't want to Get your garlic like all brown and bitter.
Okay, once your chicken is almost cooked, you go ahead and add your vegetables in there. Then you add about a half a cup of the stir fry sauce in there. Let it simmer a little bit. So there's just a little bit of vegetables to add some little different texture elements in there and color. And since I put a little bit of a cornstarch on the chicken before I fried it. You notice that the cornstarch is just kind of thickening up the sauce a little bit, making it all nice and neat. gravy looking. So once you see the onions start wilting, you don't have to cook it anymore. Just go ahead and Turn your fire off, and this is the fried garlic. So this is one teaspoon of the fried garlic in there. If you're gonna call it a garlic dish, you gotta have a garlic taste to it. How does that look, folks? Looks so yummy. I'm hungry. <laughs> and lady, set go. <laughs> and um. This is just a egg with um, on top of a little scoop of rice, and what you'd call this now is gai katiam kaidao. Means gai katiam means garlic chicken with a fried egg. This is how they normally eat it in Thailand. Get all everything in the one spoonful. Yes, Go one. ahead. What to eat some? Yeah, somebody's <laughs> waiting. Somebody's lurking in the background. <laughs> the battery's low. You guys gotta speed it up. Okay? Huh? Sorry, Sorry, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> all right. How was it? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this episode of um, Try Cooking Thai with Rodney and Pong. Uh, please, again, subscribe if you like it. Try it. Share it with your friends. Our recipes posted on Facebook. Visit us on Facebook. You can message us if you need any advice or you need any ingredients. Just let us know. Again, try cooking Thai. Till next time. Cooking Cup. Take it easy.